two years ago, if you asked me if I would willingly join Ted Ed Club, I would have left. I could not publicly speak, not one bit. Yet, here I am today, making the speech. So what changed in those two years? What changed from me absolutely hating to speak to loving it? Well, wherever I am today, the confidence and the courage that I have come from me being inspired. Ever since I was younger, there has been a local competition where all the people in my community can go and talk about something that they're passionate about. Of course, every single year, I would refuse. And when I did go, I was not prepared and therefore not confident. Eventually, this led to me believing that I simply was not a good public speaker. Even though, in reality, I just gave that competition the least priority. One year, my sister decided that she would enter the competition. Of course, when she entered it, I had to enter it. I would not give her the chance to boast to me in any way. Well, when we entered the competition, my sister spent hours on end perfecting and writing that speech. Whereas I, although I did want to beat her, I did not work for it. While she was writing, rewriting, editing, re-editing the speech, I wrote it in a day. Of course, when we went to the actual competition, her effort paid off. She got first place. And to this day, she does not let me live it down. Although I don't like to admit it, she finally taught me something that day. She taught me that every single day, we are faced with opportunities opportunities that will allow us to better ourselves. Every single year, me and my sister were given the opportunity to perfect our public speaking skills. But only one of us used that opportunity, my sister. And through that, her effort was paid off. Every day, a new door opens for us. And in that door, there are new decisions that we are able to make. And with every single decision that we make, we are faced with new opportunities. It is up to us to seize those opportunities and use them as inspiration to create a change in this world. Now, how many of you have heard of Facebook? Microsoft? Amazon? Now, all of these famous companies have one thing in common. They were all created by someone who had been inspired. Microsoft was created by Bill Gates, someone who saw an opportunity and seized it. And through that, we are able to experience the internet in a way that our ancestors would have never imagined. Simply by taking that opportunity, he changed the world as we know it. According to Harvard Business Interview, by taking an opportunity that we are presented with, we are able to explore new depths within ourselves, depths that we did not know exist. If we open our eyes to the world around us, we are able to understand more about ourselves than anyone else. Now, what are the steps to being inspired? How can we use opportunities to be our inspiration? Step one, have a plan. Make sure that you make a move. Waiting for opportunities to just fly in will lead to a life of waiting. In this case, not taking action will be your biggest enemy. Make sure that you are willing to create a conducive atmosphere, an atmosphere where it is easy for you to get inspired. Step two, like many entrepreneurs of today, it is important that we do not believe that the knowledge that we have today is the knowledge that we will ever have. We must realize that there's always more that we need to learn. Bill Gates, he spends at least one to two weeks 
making sure that he spends time expanding her horizons, understanding the material that he's working with. Step three, more connections. Make sure that you are connected with more people from different backgrounds. Although working with the people that we're comfortable with every single day may seem ideal, it can lead to a life of stagnation. By making sure that we work with different people, we are making sure that we, are, we reach different ideas and different insights, therefore giving us more opportunities to find out what our inspirations truly are. And step four, although open-mindedness is a big part of finding your aspiration, once you do find that specific inspiration, make sure that you have a specific plan to follow through. It is human mentality to make a plan and go on it. And if we have way too many options, then it will be hard for us to form that plan. Now, because of that one day, when I finally realized that this world is full of opportunities, I am able to come on this stage and make this speech. I am able to have the courage to make this speech. To make a change in this world. To make sure that we leave a footprint on mankind. To make sure that the world around us is better than when we left it. It is my humble request to take that next opportunity and use it as an inspiration. When you walk by the, the sign to your dream club, open the door and join that club. Because who knows, just by opening that door, you may be opening the door to your success. Thank you.